Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a mainstream nail polish haul to share with you. Before we get started, I'm gonna share that I have nothing on my nails because I was swatching like 20 polishes before doing this video and these, these puppies, these little babies need a little break. On my lips is from YSL and this is the Volupt Candy Glaze in 04. That is what I have all over my lips. I actually ended up going to both Shoppers Drug Mart for two polishes and I also found the rest of my polishes at Winners. Here in Canada, we have Winners and Home Sense. In the US, you have Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Where I live, there's a Winners about 20 minutes away, which is actually pretty close for, for Canada. We, we like to drive a really long ways to just get anywhere. But at that Winners, they actually carry nail polish. And I'm just wandering, I'm cruising down the aisle, and I see the nail polishes, and I got a lot of pinks. The one thing I will say is I hate how Winners puts their stickers on everything over everything. I was able to find quite a few great colors at Winners, as well well as one of my favorite top coat brands, which is Seshvi. So I have Seshvi here and I'm not gonna open this until I finish my current top coat. I won't be reaching for this one right away. And at Shoppers Drug Mart, I found a couple more polishes also pink. I definitely have some favorites. I have some not so favorites. Some things I think did better layered than on their own and some that just sort of vanished. Also, one of these that I'm sharing with you today is actually a special polish because it is what I wore for my wedding. And I actually went through that entire bottle, finally just repurchased it because my goal was to wear it at every anniversary. And last year for 2023, my third anniversary, I, I ran out. It was got too gloopy and I didn't have thinner at the time, but I did purchase it again. I'll be able to wear it again in August. With that said, you guys, let's get into the swatching. What I'm wearing on my nails is from Lynn B Designs in Wana Woohoo, which is a deep purple with a fiery red to orange shifting shimmer. OPI's Quest for Quartz is an everyday neutral with a shimmery finish. As these are older OPIs likely because I found them at Winners, I don't know if they've changed their brushes. I sure hope they have because I do not like these teeny tiny little brushes. Two coats for Quest for Quartz was perfect for my nail length. I would imagine if you have longer nails, you probably want to put on three. It was a really good formula. Unfortunately, I just didn't get that shimmer translation from the bottle to my nail. And you can kind of see that when I try to show this polish in what little sun I did have. It just, it didn't have a whole lot there. Now it was a very cloudy day and sun was in and out, so I didn't get a lot, but I did look at this in the sun after this. I just didn't get a lot of that shimmery sparkle. OPI's rosy future is described as a whimsical, delicate pink with a subtle shimmer. I actually really did enjoy this color. I definitely needed two coats. Mind you, I am a person who doesn't mind a nail line showing. Now, if you're someone who doesn't like your nail line showing, probably three coats. But as you'll see in the future, I do a little something with this polish that might be a little bit different, which I actually kind of liked a little bit more. I do love these whimsical shimmery nail polishes and this little blue shift in it is gorgeous. Not so Bora Boring Pink is a soft tropical pink ready for bumming it on the beach. Beat the boredom with this peppy pink shade of nail polish. This description was straight from the website. I think out of all the ones I purchased, this is my favorite to wear on its own. But again, I will show you a little trick I did with two of the polishes I purchased, this being one of them in mere moments. Thank you. 
personally, I don't think I would describe this as a tropical pink because to me, I would think of a brighter, a beachy, almost neon pink, but this is a lovely shade. This would be great at the end of summer, going into early fall or in the spring. I probably wouldn't wear this in the winter, but it's an absolutely gorgeous color on its own. OPI's Pixel Dust is described as a fresh pink nail polish that sparkles with pixel dust and packed with mesmerizing pearlescent shimmer. Now I'm showing you just wearing this one here. I actually show you with two coats at the end here, but I would not wear this polish on its own, but rather, as you will see very shortly, I quite enjoy this as a topper. So here are the next swatches are the Not So Bora Boring Pink on the base with Rosy Future on top. And I feel like Rosy Future has that almost milky iridescence that looks really good with this color. I don't think it was meant to be a topper, but I think it actually turned out pretty good if you ask me. And lastly, I'm showing Not So Bora Boring Pink with Pixel Dust on top, which I mentioned earlier with Pixel Dust, I would absolutely wear this as a topper. I'm not likely to wear it on its own. So I thought that this did really, really well on top of Not So Bora Boring Pink. Great ways to stretch the colors you have, make some new colors. From Essie's Gel Couture line, we have Inside Scoop, which is a long wear sheer tea rose pink nail polish with a slight blue undertone. This was my wedding nail polish color that I wore during our wedding ceremonies in August of 2020. That's right, I'm a COVID bride. <laughs> anyway, I love this color. Again, I don't mind seeing my nail line, but if you don't, I would say three coats for this one here. Two coats is what I'm showing you in this video, but if you want more coverage, put three coats on. It's so beautiful. This light is not doing it any justice and I have no tan <laughs> at all. It looks really good with a tan as well. Up next, we have from the regular line from Essie, Birthday Girl. This one is described as an iridescent pink nail polish that makes every birthday more fun. And I tend to agree with this one. And here again, I'm just showing you what this looks like on its own, but this is not a nail polish I would wear on its own, but rather you're gonna see when I layer this on top of one of my current nail polishes, how much this just pops and it's a beautiful color and it may just have to be a birthday color for me this summer. Right here I'm showing you Cute as a Button on the base, also from Essie, with this birthday girl topper that I said would look stunning. Well, I am definitely going to say this is a beautiful topper. I highly recommend it. If you do see this in your drugstore or any of your Walmarts, this is definitely one to pick up. It's just beautiful on top of deeper colors. Okay, so of course, again, Sesh Feet, it's a top coat. I really, really enjoy this top coat very much and uh, I will keep purchasing it. Let's go to the OPIs. Now I do like OPI. My least favorite was actually the one called Quest for Quartz. There's supposed to be a lot of luster in here. Maybe you can sort of see it a little bit. And 
it uh, does show well in the bottle. It does not show up well on my nails until I took it off and then all that luster was everywhere. My least favorite because my nail color and my skin color were very muted. This doesn't pop. I might put it on my toes or something like that. I didn't really enjoy this one. My favorite color from the OPIs that I did buy is the one that was called Not So Bora Boring. I love this one. There's like a pearlescentness to this and I think this is beautiful and I loved layering it with Rosy Future. I loved layering these two together. I thought it was beautiful, but I also layered this with the sparkly one, which was called Pixel Dust. And I really enjoyed that too. Pixel Dust, this is not a polish I wear on its own. It's very, very sheer. There's a clear base with, with glitter. Use this with a Peely base because it'll help you take that off. Combine these two together. I felt like that was a really nice color combo. So I really enjoyed that. My wedding nail polish. This is from Essie in the Inside Scoop. This is like their gel couture line. This is what I wore on my wedding day, as I'm sure I already told you in the video. I love this. This is beautiful. I find that the Essie Gel Couture line lasts on my nails a hell of a lot longer than the regular Essie line does. Just so you know too, it's Gel Couture. It's not a gel polish. You do not need a special light for this. This is just nail polish. It's supposed to look like gel. I love this. I actually don't mind my nail line showing at all. The color that I put over top of, what is it? Cute as a button. Cute as a button here. And then this one here was the, the birthday girl, I think it's called. Yeah, birthday girl. I layered cute as a button with birthday girl and I thought that that was really good and again this is more shimmery than glittery compared to these two I didn't mind this so much on its own but again it's really really sheer I think this is a great topper for so many nail polish colors so it actually might look really really good on top of inside scoop too. Thanks again for coming along for Manny Money. Don't forget on Wednesdays we do everything to do with Wax Wednesday. So it has to do with candles, reviews, hauls, as well as wax melts. Also on Fridays is Fragrance Friday, which is everything to do with personal fragrance. I think that smells really good. I gotta have it. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye guys.